What's up, Vlog Squad? It's your boy, The Emperor, and we're about to embark on a wild journey to a country that's like, seriously underrated. I'm talking about Romania. We're talking towering mountains, ancient castles straight out of your wildest dreams, and cities buzzing with life. But hold up, it gets way more interesting. We're about to dive into the top 10 things you probably didn't know about Romania, and trust me, some of this stuff is straight up mind-blowing. You won't believe what this place has been hiding. Stay tuned till the end for a surprise fact that'll have you booking a flight faster than you can say Sarmail. Alright guys, buckle up because we're traveling back in time, way back, to ancient Dacia. These guys were the OG inhabitants of Romania, fierce warriors who gave the Romans a run for their money. We're talking centuries before Dracula was even a whisper in the night. Think about it, while the Romans were out conquering the world, the Dacians were holding it down in Romania, building fortresses and living their best lives, and let me tell you, these weren't your average mud huts. We're talking about sophisticated settlements, advanced metalworking, and a complex spiritual system that would blow your mind. Sadly, much of their history got lost in the mists of time, but what we do know is enough to pique your curiosity. Trust me, if you're a history nerd like me, you gotta check out places like Sarmazegatusa Regia. It's this ancient Dacian fortress hidden deep in the mountains, and it's like stepping into another world. Ancient ruins, epic views, and a sense of mystery that'll send shivers down your spine. And the best part? It's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to Romania's hidden historical gems. Alright guys, let's talk about everyone's favorite bloodsucker Dracula. The real story is way more hardcore than any Hollywood movie. Vlad the Impaler, the OG inspiration for Bram Stoker's novel, a medieval badass who struck fear into his enemies. He had a flair for the dramatic, especially with his enemies. We're talking impalement, hence the nickname. Did Vlad actually live in Bran Castle? Probably not. It's still an incredible medieval fortress shrouded in mist and legends. Okay guys, get ready for this one because it's a wild ride, we're going to a cemetery. But not just any cemetery, the Mary Cemetery in Sapanta. I know it sounds super morbid, but trust me, it's actually the opposite. Imagine a cemetery where the tombstones are bright blue, adorned with colorful paintings and hilarious epitaphs that'll have you laughing out loud. Seriously, these aren't your typical somber memorials. They're more like mini comic strips depicting the lives and sometimes even the deaths of the people buried there. It's a celebration of life, death, and everything in between, all wrapped up in this quirky, uniquely Romanian package. You see a tombstone with a guy getting hit by a car, and the inscription reads, I told you I should have stayed home. Dark humor, maybe, but it's a refreshing perspective on something that's usually shrouded in sadness. The Mary Cemetery is a testament to Romanian humor, their ability to find joy even in the face of death. It's a reminder that life is short, and sometimes the best way to cope with it is to laugh. Chapter 4, Mother Nature Outdid Herself. All right, nature lovers, get ready to be blown away because Romania's natural beauty is next level stunning. We're talking snow-capped mountains, lush forests, and winding rivers that'll make you want to grab your backpack and get lost in the wilderness. First up, the Transfagora Sand Highway. This winding road through the Carpathian Mountains is basically a roller coaster for cars, with hairpin turns and breathtaking views that'll leave you speechless. Seriously, it's like driving through a postcard. Next, we're heading to the Danube Delta, a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a haven for wildlife enthusiasts. We're talking about a labyrinth of canals, lakes, and reed beds teeming with birds, fish, and all sorts of amazing creatures. It's basically a nature documentary come to life. And if you're feeling adventurous, you gotta check out the Bucegi Mountains, home to the iconic Sphinx and Babel rock formations. These natural wonders are shrouded in mystery and legend, and the views from the top are absolutely breathtaking. Chapter 5 Castles, fit for fairy tales and vampires. Romania is practically overflowing with castles and fortresses just begging to be explored. It's like every other hilltop has a medieval masterpiece perched on top. Corvin Castle is a stunning gothic masterpiece that looks like it came straight out of a fairy tale. Towering turrets, a drawbridge, and a spooky dungeon that'll send shivers down your spine. Pele's Castle, a neo-Renaissance masterpiece nestled in the Carpathian Mountains. Ornate interiors, stained glass windows, and a fascinating history. Countless other castles and fortresses, each with its own unique story to tell. 
Chapter 6, Silicon Valley? More like Silicon Transylvania. All right, guys, time to ditch the stereotypes because Romania is not all castles and vampires. In fact, it's becoming a major player in the tech world with a booming IT sector and a startup scene that's on fire. We're talking about a new generation of young, ambitious entrepreneurs developing cutting-edge technology and making waves on a global scale. Ever heard of Bitdefender? Yeah, that antivirus software that keeps your computer safe from all those nasty viruses. Made in Romania. And then there's UiPath, a global leader in robotic process automation which is basically teaching robots to do our jobs for us. Don't worry, the robot uprising is still a few years off, hopefully. Bucharest, the capital city, is at the heart of this tech revolution, with co-working spaces popping up left and right and a vibrant community of innovators and investors. It's like a mini Silicon Valley but with better food and way more castles. Alright foodies, get ready to loosen your belts because Romanian cuisine is about to rock your world. We're talking hearty, flavorful dishes that'll stick to your ribs and leave you wanting more. First up, sarmale little parcels of heaven filled with minced meat, rice, and spices, wrapped in cabbage or grape leaves and slow cooked to perfection. Trust me, one bite and you'll be hooked. Next we have maisi, which are basically Romanian sausages but like a million times better. Grilled over charcoal and served with mustard and bread, they're the perfect street food or picnic snack. And of course, no Romanian food experience is complete without trying papanasi, a type of fried dough that's crispy on the outside, fluffy on the inside, and usually topped with sour cream and jam. It's basically a donuts cooler, more sophisticated cousin. But beyond the classics, Romanian cuisine is a melting pot of flavors, influenced by its neighbors and its history. You'll find Turkish-inspired pastries, Hungarian goulash, and even some German influences in the Transylvania region. All right, party animals, listen up because Romania knows how to throw a festival. From music festivals that'll make your ears ring to traditional celebrations that'll transport you back in time, there's always something epic happening in this country. If you're an EDM fan, then Untold Festival is a must-do. We're talking about one of the biggest music festivals in Europe with top DJs, mind-blowing stage production, and a crowd that knows how to party. Seriously, it's like Tomorrowland's cooler, more mysterious cousin. For a more classical experience, check out the George Inescu Festival, named after Romania's most famous composer. It's a celebration of classical music, with world-renowned orchestras, soloists, and conductors performing in stunning venues across the country. But beyond the big-name festivals, Romania is home to countless smaller local celebrations throughout the year. From traditional folk festivals with colorful costumes and lively music to harvest festivals celebrating the bounty of the land, there's always something to experience in Romania. All right, history buffs, here's a fun fact. Romania is way more diverse than you might think. Over centuries, it's been a crossroads of cultures with influences from the east, west, north, and south all leaving their mark on this fascinating country. In Transylvania, you'll find a strong Hungarian influence with medieval towns, Gothic architecture, and even a Hungarian-speaking minority. It's like stepping back in time to a different era. Then there are the Saxons, German settlers who arrived in Transylvania centuries ago and left their mark on the region's architecture, cuisine, and culture. Their fortified churches are UNESCO World Heritage Sites and a testament to their enduring legacy. But beyond the Hungarians and Saxons, Romania is home to smaller communities of Roma, Ukrainians, Serbs, and other ethnic groups, each adding their own unique flavor to the country's cultural tapestry. All right, pop culture junkies, you might be surprised to learn that Romania has been quietly making its mark on the global stage for years. From Hollywood blockbusters to chart-topping musicians, this country's influence is spreading far and wide. Ever seen the movie Cold Mountain starring Nicole Kidman and Jude Law? Yeah, that epic Civil War drama was actually filmed in Romania, using the Carpathian Mountains as a stand-in for the American South. And more recently, the Netflix movie The Princess Switch with Vanessa Hudgens was filmed in the stunning Pele's castle. But it's not just Hollywood that's taking notice. Romanian musicians are making waves in the global music scene, from the infectious beats of Inna to the haunting melodies of Alexander Stan. And let's not forget about Edward Maya, whose song Stereo Love topped the charts in multiple countries back in 2009. So there you have it guys, the top 10 things you didn't know about Romania. 
From ancient history and spooky legends to stunning landscapes and a thriving tech scene, this country has it all. Who knew a cemetery could be merry, that Dracula was inspired by a real-life Vlad, or that Romania is a tech hub? Seriously, Romania is like a hidden gem just waiting to be discovered. So what are you waiting for? Book that flight, pack your bags, and get ready for an adventure you won't soon forget. And hey, while you're out there exploring, don't forget to tell me what surprised you the most about Romania in the comments below. Oh, and before you go, hit that subscribe button for more epic travel adventures and hidden gems from around the world. Until next time, peace out!